Trade up, trade back. Draft the receiver, draft the corner. There are plenty of great moves to make for the Eagles at 12. One of them that's not drafting Quiddy Pay. Yo, everybody, hey, dude, King Ding back here. So today we have come with the. What the hell is that? It's a big ass dog. Dallas still stinks. You're my do it, King Ding back here, and I hope everybody's having a great day. Hope you guys are doing well. Let me first thank each and every one of you guys who was at my live stream earlier today. It was a blast. Had so much fun with all you dingbats. You guys were awesome. Don't forget. We are going to be doing this every day through Saturday. Tomorrow, I got LB coming on. We're going to talk draft board and draft Thursday. Before the draft even starts, we're going to do a preview call-in show where you guys are going to call in and tell me what you think is going to happen. Thursday night, we stream the draft. Friday night, we stream the draft. Saturday, we stream the draft. Friday, uh, Saturday night, the Philly Shakedown with Joey Shakes. Uh, that podcast will take place and we'll recap what happens in this draft. It's going to be a lot of fun. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of this. Now, there's a lot of crap going on. There's a lot of mother humping rumors going on. And I love it. I love it. You know what I mean? For the most part, I love it. Uh, one of the ones we're hearing a lot about now uh, today was that the Eagles are going to move Zach Ertz. It's going to happen. Zach Ertz is going to get moved. What the hell? God, look at this beard. This is one ugly beard. I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm a man. Testosterone through these veins. But anyways. Zach Ertz, he's getting moved. It sounds like this is going to happen. It just sounds like there's about six to seven teams interested in Ertz because the tight end position in this draft is weak. So expect Zach Ertz to get moved. Where he goes, I have no idea. The Eagles are trying to get maximum value. I don't know what they could get. Um, a rumor that came out uh, during my live stream that kind of rattled some people, and I want to talk about it because... This is a, a rumor that I knew was just a matter of time before coming. I've been saying this for about a month or two. I've been saying the same thing every time I talk about the 12th pick, who not to take. Because I saw this coming from a mile away, okay? There is rumors tonight that the Eagles, they are very, very interested in one quitty pay, okay? They like him so much that they possibly could take him at 12. Now, I have a real problem with this, okay? This comes from Tony Pauline. Um, he says that the Eagles love Quiddy Pay so much so they could take him at 12 because he reminds them a lot of Brandon Graham. Um, look, I don't want to bash Quiddy Pay. I don't want to say he can't be a player or anything like that. But when I put a draft board together, and I think the Eagles legitimately, honestly put a draft board together, and they put their top 12 players, top 15 players on their draft board. I have a very hard time believing that Quiddy Pay, that Quiddy Pay is one of those guys. I have a hard time believing it. And if you look at history, this is more about what the Eagles have done in the past, what they like to do with this pick between 12 and 15. Typically, when they pick 12 to 15, they like to go defensive linemen. Fletcher Cox. Brandon Graham, Derek Barnett, and now possibly Quiddy Pay. When you draft like that, that has nothing to do with who's the best player available. That has to do with how you value certain positions. This is about seeking need. Because, yes, the Eagles could use a definitely a, another pass rusher. Okay, They need a pass rusher. Derek Barnett hasn't worked out. Brandon Graham is getting older. Of course they need another pass rusher. But Quiddy Pay at 12, you got to be kidding me. To be quite honest with you, because that's all I can do, is if they draft this guy, I'm going to be pissed. I'm going to burn this whole place down. It is going to be World War III if they take him at 12. Because I know in my heart that is not the right pick, but it's a typical Howie Roseman pick. And if you're picking Quiddy Pay because he reminds you of Brandon Graham, you got big problems. Let me tell you something. People forget this about Brandon Graham. When he was drafted, first early part of his season, first half of his career, he wasn't good. He wasn't worth the pick. Brandon Graham came along. He got better as he's gotten older. He is an exception 
to the rule. I love Brandon Graham. Now he was worth it. But to think that you're going to get another Brandon Graham, I don't think so. <laughs> you're trying to copy the Brandon Graham pick. You are making a big mistake. You are setting yourself up for failure. I don't like this idea of Quiddy Pay at 12. I hate it. Now, if the Eagles really love Quiddy Pay and they want to do it and they don't want me to get pissed off, it's very simple. It's very simple. Trade back again. Trade back to about 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Trade back and then get more picks and then draft them. You won't hear me complain because I, I personally think Quiddy Pay goes somewhere around 20, 21, 22, 23. But to take him at 12 is a reach. In my opinion, it is a reach. There is no way you can tell me that he's better than Waddle, that he's better than Parsons, that he's better than Slater, that he could be better than Devontae Smith. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. And I've known that this was going to happen. I do. I really knew that the Eagles would look to basically get Quiddy Pay and, and possibly draft him. This is what they typically do between 12 and 15. And it scares me because I don't really believe they're looking at Quiddy Pay going, oh, he's really the best player available. They're looking at what they've done in history and they're going, this is typically when we like defensive linemen. This is what we're going to do. We're going to draft him because he reminds us of Brandon Graham. He went to the same school. He's similar. He reminds us of him. Let's just draft him again. They did the same thing with Derek Barnett. Do you remember? Everybody said, well, Derek Barnett reminds the Eagles of Brandon Graham. But he's not Brandon Graham. He, you know, peep, the worst video I ever had. Well, not worst video because I love the video. But the most disliked video I've ever had was my reaction to Derek Barnett being drafted. I didn't like it because I knew it was the wrong pick at the time. I still believe that. I still believe it. Um, this would be worse than that, in my opinion. Uh, Quiddy Pay at 12 is a reach. And if the Eagles, they take him, uh, it's going to be a problem. Now, I will say this. I don't think they're going to draft Quiddy Pay. I think this is all smokescreen. I think this is a smokescreen, and I think this is an actual genius smokescreen. Because this is something typically the Eagles would do. So teams are going to believe that they like Quiddy Pay. The teams are going to buy into this. And the Eagles will be able to hopefully use it to her advantage, maybe trading back, trading up, whatever they're going to do, maybe letting a player drop that a team thinks that, you know, the Eagles won't touch because they're going to go after Quiddy Pay. So I do think this is a smokescreen because this is something typically in the past uh, the Eagles would do. But with Nick Sariani, his ability, his ability to incept just different, like, thoughts and stuff into Howie Roseman's brain and to basically shut down Howie Vision. Uh, I don't think Quiddy Pay is going to be the pick. I think it's going to be a wide receiver or it's going to be a corner. I think we go wide receiver or corner. But, yes, this does disturb me that this report is coming out. But I'm not surprised uh, at all. Not at all. I will say this, though. If we went on Eagles history on what they've done between the positions of 12 to 15, uh, typically this is the kind of guy that they draft. Uh, this year, I hope it'll be a little different. I think it's a little different. However, if you were a betting man, if you would like to put odds on, you know, if the Eagles could take Quiddy Pay, I do think it's kind of interesting um, that they have the odds for some of these guys, right? You have J.C. Horn. He's, uh, he's plus 300. Jalen Waddle, plus 500. Sertan, plus 300. Devontae Smith, plus 300. 10% um, handle, 4% of the bets. Sertan, 4% of the bets. Jalen Waddle has 19% of the bets. And J.C. Horn has the most at 30% of the bets. But what I wanted to show you was Quiddy Pay. Quiddy Pay is plus 1,400 to go to the Eagles. Now, this is not a bad bet if you're a betting man, if you're somebody who may want, you know, to, to put a throw a little money, see what happens. Because uh, typically... At this position, the Eagles draft defensive end, and I could see it. So I may put a little money on that. Not that I'll be happy that they draft him, uh, just that I'll feel a little bit better. You know what I mean? But it's going to be very interesting. Um, the other thing that I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about was a scenario, right? There's a scenario going on right now, and uh, this is a trade scenario in which the Eagles possibly could trade back, okay? Apparently Baltimore, apparently they they will love Parsons, right? They would love to get Parsons. They would like to get up in the draft. 
One way that you probably get Parsons is if you trade up to 12. Well, the Baltimore Ravens have two first-round picks. They have the 31st pick overall, and they have the 27th pick overall. There's some talk and chatter that the Eagles could be interested in trading back with the Baltimore Ravens um, and taking their 31st and 27th pick uh, overall and give the Ravens the 12th pick overall. Uh, so the Eagles would get two first-round picks in this year's draft. The Ravens would get the 12th overall. Me personally, um, I got to tell you, I understand why you would want to do this because you get more picks. You have a lot of holes. You got to fill these holes. I get it. My issue is with the person making the picks. Um, you know, when you get to the 27th pick, the 31st pick, they're essentially low second round picks, okay? Do I trust Howie Roseman enough? Do I trust Howie Roseman enough to pick the right guy? That would be the question I have. And to be honest with you, no. No. Now, if you have the 27th and 31st pick, you could do a, a, a lot of things. I would have to come away with JOK out of this draft if that's the situation. I would have to find a way to get up and get JOK. Uh, there's no way I can't have him if I did this. But this is an interesting scenario. This is something that I could see the Eagles totally would love to do. Trade back at two late first round picks and give Baltimore the 12th overall. I don't want them to do it. I hope they don't do it because you got to remember we started at number six. We are a four win team. We need top end talent. We already went from six to 12, which I'm not thrilled about. Uh, so to go back even further, I wouldn't like this. But there is some thought about this. There is some talk about this. And I thought it was kind of interesting. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, I don't know. I mean, just, just look. Just get me Devontae Smith and JOK, who I love. I love that mother humper. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I love him. So do that. Make me happy. No quitty pay. No trading back again. Just get the guys. The best player available. And I'm good. I'm good. With that said, I will see you guys tomorrow for another live stream. Take care. Talk to you later. And of course... Don't be a dingbat. All right, I'm so excited. It is time for Michael Anthony. Where's the fitness workout? I'm ready. You ready? Look at this beard. I'm a man. I'm a man. Look at this thing. I got testosterone running through my veins. Where's my wife for some matrimonial duties? Oh, wait, wait, wait. First, it's Michael Anthony. Where's the fitness workout plan right now? Let's do it. Here we go. You ready? Michael Anthony, where's the fitness workout plan? We are doing it. All right, we are, we are laying, but we are doing it. Michael Anthony, where's the fitness workout routine? All right, here we go. Nap time. <sighs>